Today on our 2012 Volkswagen Jetta TDI, we'll be installing the Tow Ready T1 Harness, part number 119190KIT. We've already gone ahead and removed the rear cargo and spare tire. Now we're ready to remove the push pin fasteners so that we can pull back the carpeting to access the wiring behind the taillights. After we remove the push pin fasteners, we'll also remove the rear threshold. Now with the threshold off, you'll see that we have one more fastener on each side that'll need to be removed. Starting on the driver's side, we'll go ahead and pull back the carpeting. As you can see, this allows us access to the rear taillight wiring. Next, we'll need to identify the wire that carries the brake signal, turn signal, and running lights. To do this, I'm going to take a small piece of wire and use it to back probe the connector. Then with my test light, I'll run each signal to identify which one is which. As you can see, the connector is marked 1 through 4 in the pin locations. Starting at the bottom is pin location 1. It has a gray wire with a black tracer going through it. This is for our running light circuit. Pin location 2 which is a black wire with an orange tracer going through it, is our brake circuit. Pin location four is a black wire with a gray tracer, is gonna be for our turn signal circuit for the driver's side. We'll need to repeat the same process to locate the turn signal on the passenger side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel back some of the tape covering up the wires so we can start making our connections. Now we're ready to go ahead and start making attachments with our new converter box. To make the attachments, we'll be using the quick connectors. For pin location one, which was our gray wire with a black tracer, we'll be connecting the brown wire from our converter box. Pin location two, which is a black wire with the orange tracer, will be the red wire from our converter box. And then pin location four is the black wire with gray tracer which with our turn signal will be the yellow wire from our converter box. Let's go ahead and make these attachments now. Next we'll go ahead and take the green wire from our converter box and route it over to the passenger side. Just as we did on the driver's side, we'll identify the blinker signal. It's the same pin location as it was on the driver's side, although the wire is a black wire with a green tracer. Let's go ahead and make that connection now. All right, now that I've made all of the connections behind the taillights, I'm gonna go ahead and take some black electrical tape and wrap up my connections and then reconnect the connectors to the back of the taillight socket. Now we've got that completed, we'll go ahead and take the white ground wire, strip it back and add a ring terminal. We're gonna attach this to the body of the vehicle with the self-tapping screw provided with our install kit. Now with our ground wire attached, we need to go ahead and make a connection with our power wire. We'll be connecting to the black wire with the butt connector already installed. After I make my connection, we'll go ahead and use some black electrical tape and wrap it up. This will help to ensure it keeps out any dirt, dust, debris, and moisture. With that, it makes our final connection to our converter box so we can turn it over, peel away the 2A adhesive, and connect it to a smooth, flat, clean surface. Just below the driver's side taillight is a perfect location. Now we can go ahead and reinstall all of the interior trim panels. Next, we need to go ahead and take our black power wire and route it to the battery. To do this, we'll be going out through one of the manufacturer grommets and running underneath the vehicle up to the battery. When routing your wire, you wanna be sure to stay away from any excessive heat such as exhaust or moving components such as steering or suspension. With our wire routed underneath and secured, We've now brought it up into the engine compartment. We'll route it between the battery and the fuse panel so we can route it over to the positive battery terminal. Once we get over there, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess wire and strip back the end. Now we can go ahead and prep our fuse holder to install it. We'll cut the fuse holder in half, strip back both ends, add a butt connector to one and a ring terminal to other. Then we'll take our butt connector and add it to our power wire we just ran up into the engine compartment. With that done and our fuse removed from the fuse holder, 
We'll go ahead and secure the fuse holder here to the positive battery terminal wire. Now we can remove the stud from the terminal hold down, add our ring terminal, and then resecure it. With this application, we'll be using the blue 15 amp fuse. Go ahead and put our fuse holder lid on. And this will complete the install. Now we'll go ahead and show you how to use your new four pole connection. We'll simply take the four pole connector and drape it out of the trunk over the rear threshold. Be careful to stay away from the latch as closing it in the latch can harm the wire. However, the weather stripping is thick enough that it won't harm the wire. Once you're done using it with your hitch or accessory, simply roll it back up and store it underneath the spare tire cover. And that'll do it for our install of the Tow Ready T1 wiring harness, part number 119190KIT on our 2012 Volkswagen Jetta.